Okay, good. Steady. Good boy. So um, it is this front bit that we're going to work on now. Um, and what to do with him. Now he's got a fantastic front angulation and I want to um, open that up um, and make it nice and pronounced. Um, if I'll show you from the side, I've done one side, you know, up, up, done. So, so it's not the best. So basically I want to show off his front angulation here. He's not standing properly. So I'm not sure. Turn my boy. That's it. Good boy. Um, no, a bit too much. So his feathers were basically covering up all of his. There's his shoulder. If I hide all of his feathers, he's not. I can't stack him properly. Um, so we've removed. Um, they got a twirl here. Near turn this way. Sit. That's it. Um, in these light feathers. Now I've tried different ways of taking this out. Um, I need to grow in a little bit more in the neck here. His neck is not clipped yet, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to need to scissor off there. And where they've got the point of shoulder bone, you have to be very careful there not to overstrip because that will have a bold patch really easily. I'm just going to have to touch this up with thinning scissors once I'm doing his neck. Um, and we're removing the feathers this way inwards. You can see there's his upper arm. There's his point of shoulder. And he comes down into his uh, front leg uh, here. Uh, and I want to really open that up. And on this side, he's still got too wide. So we're going to take some of this out. Uh, so then when the, he's stacked from the side view, his shoulder comes out, sit nicely. So, um, stay. I'm going to use the Aronco's Sumo Raker because that takes out hair really quickly for me. And so I'll do a little bit of, on his neck because that's really thick here. Now he's bathed, he's cleaned, um, he's mat free now. Be careful there over the point of shoulder. Now this is very often very heavily scissored on setters, some do it more than others, or it's really overgrown where the feathers are as wide um, as they grow, but which is fine and I would leave that on the dogs that don't have the best of fronts. Um, but his one is so good, I want it very obvious. And I don't want it hidden with the coat. So I'm not now, now going to be raking. You feel the point of shoulder. And then you, along the bone, down to the front leg, uh, where your bone runs. And basically I want to clear everything over that bone. And just before, just in front of it, inwards. Um, we'll stretch the coat. And I'm going to start raking this way. So I don't take too much out. And we brush out the clippings. And you see we're starting to work our way in. I can't reach very well the way he's sitting. Good boy. He's not very happy with me that I had to bath him and that we're doing this. Oh, my boy. And it's absolutely miserable. It's pouring down with rain. And another reason why I like to open this up, if possible, if the dog's got a good front on it, is so then from the side you can see the tan markings and they're not hidden in, in, the, uh, in the black uh, hairs. Now I need to break out some here that comes into the front leg. Got one side more or less done on him. You can see and it exposes the muscle then nicely when they strip tight. Um, 
and just got a lot of work to do on the other side and that's what I'll do the videos and then hopefully I can you should really see his front leg in the front no, done turn so we see we've still got to remove a lot more there Oh my boy, not too much, this has to be scissored. And I'm just working my way in. And this is my, oh I just said, he wants to show you. So you see why I'm trying to show, that's it, he's being a fidget because he doesn't want to be here. Right, can I see your leg, please? Now he's still missing feathers here that he was shaved off, so we don't have a lot there. That's growing back, but much better than I thought. Much quicker. No, stop. Oh boy. Let me see. He's just going to be naughty and he's going to be spinning on the table. Right. No, you cannot look there. And on this side, his hair grows in nicely this way into his front, but on this side, he'll grow out. So that's another thing with sitters that you might notice that on each side, they grow differently, and that you get nicer sitting kind on one side than the other. So we've removed quite a lot. And I'll never used to strip out his front here. I left it wide, and I would leave it, like I said, if the front are grey. He's fallen asleep already. Probably then come back to that. Now, near up. Um, let's turn him that way. Turn that way. Um, stay. No, that's too much. Come back. Back a bit. this side all of this needs tripping still which rather than doing this with fingers to do it quickly because he's already had enough and then you no stop please stay stay boys are so naughty 